ID right this, side. Is, this is big too. We're getting RPG hit. in front of us. Deployment training is to make sure that our, our agents are, are safe and they're, they're able to operate in a combat theater or non permissive environment. The pre deployment training that the FBI puts on for our individuals deploying to Afghanistan and Iraq occurs in, uh, in Utah. The environment here, the climate, the, the mountains, the altitude is very similar to what um, our agents are going to encounter in, in Afghanistan, especially. So the training is only two weeks. It's long enough and it's rigorous enough and, and, and the, the demands that are placed on them, both mentally and physically, um, offer a, a great opportunity for the instructors to evaluate them to see if they can operate in a, in a non-permissive environment. What that means is they're going to be um, exposed to many different stressors on a daily basis. Over the two-week period, it offers us uh, uh, a good opportunity to, to put them under stress, to put the same type of stressors on them that they could experience in, in country, see how they can react to that, and if they are uh, mentally and physically um, prepared to, to deploy. Right now we're crawling to learn how to do these basic principles of putting on a tourniquet, putting on a splint, uh, checking airways, breathing, um, circulation, exsanguination. Um, so that as we progress to the final training on, on uh, next week, they will have to put all this into practice under a very stressful environment with people possibly shooting at them, um, limited time scale, dangerous environment. What we find is that you have yourself that you portray under normal circumstances and then you have that hidden self that comes out when um, you are stressed. We are trying to find that who that self is and is that somebody that can handle the stresses of overseas. I think the training gives them uh, probably the closest thing to real time exposure. Uh, for what they're going to encounter when they get into Afghanistan or Iraq. It exposes you to uh, some of the situation and, and some of the FBI specific skills that FBI agents are going to provide over there when you've already mentally rehearsed that, when you've already heard the terminology and uh, some of the military terms you're going to encounter and, and basically have an idea of what the daily tempo will be based on your assignment. Um, it, it doesn't. It's, it's one less thing to, that you have to learn um, in a very uh, dynamic environment. Uh, so flip it over, look at the map. You're going to have four points to go to. Every point is going to have um, a wooden stake and it'll have some kind of ribbon at the top of it. Sometimes the ribbon will be just tied around the top, sometimes it'll be long. On that stake, the name will be written. There'll be a, a code word. Don't worry about the code word. You want the number. I see a stake in front of the bush. It's about 200 meters away. I'm going to start aiming for that point. Unfortunately, still got some high snow. So we're just trying to find a good place to travel, make it a little bit easier to maneuver through. We tell all the students at the end of the two-week course uh, that you know they're put under stress. They're they're put on a lot of demands are on them during these two weeks. We take a lot of different skill sets that they were taught from uh, combat, medical, land nav, um, and uh, other other skills that are going to be required depending on what they're particular assignment is, but we we take the classroom portion and we put it into a practical application scenario. Uh, this is the worst case scenario that you would have to face in Afghanistan. The vehicle is totally inoperable, can't be pushed, can't be pulled, so uh, agents have to back from one vehicle to the other uh, at the same time while they're taking fire.
crawl, walk, run. Uh, so initially, the, really the crawl phase was the classroom. Then he went out static, learned how to get in and out of the vehicles. Um, and then this phase, they basically put together everything they've learned in the classroom and through the static displays. Um, a lot of it's communication, a lot of it's the team leaders taking charge and getting out of there as quickly as possible. Time is really, um, the quicker you do this, the better you're gonna come out on the other end. Um, everything is based on what's been happening in theater. Every class, um, we seem to tweak it a little bit based on what has happened most recently uh, in the theater of operations so that our, our training is fresh and realistic. It, it's, it's the greatest experience that any agent can have. Um, to, to, to volunteer for that and um, assignment up front is difficult. Get over there, endure the hardships that you're going to have to endure, and then to, to know that, uh, that you truly have made an impact. You know, all of us become FBI agents because we want to make an impact and we want to help. You know, we want to serve our country. So this is, this is a, a great opportunity for people to, to get experience on the front line of, of the, the counterterrorism mission and to um, contribute. And it, you get a great sense of accomplishment at the end of your four months not only for, for um, you know, the hardships that you endured and, and the personal uh, accomplishments that you make, but knowing that you can contribute to the overall good.